Hi everyone, John here. Just a quick talk about a piece of software that I've bumped into for my PC. Well, it's for Mac users and for PC users who are running the Mac operating system. It's a piece of software and it's called Parallels Desktop 7. It's an absolute fantastic piece of software. I've just been trying it over the past couple of days because I do sometimes like to use a couple of Windows programs. Now, I've actually just installed Windows 7 on another hard drive and been restarting my PC and booting from the hard drive. But, what I found with this software now, I don't even have to restart my Mac, the, well, my PC, like what Mac operating system on. If I just go up here now, now, this can work in two ways, but this is how I've been using it. If we click on the Start menu, does this menu look familiar to everybody? Windows 7 menu. If I click on Pro Show Producer, which is a Windows program, as you can see, it opens right up along in my Mac operating system. I can just do what I want. I, I can go open a Mac program now if I want. I could open, I don't know, Bridge, which is actually running from the Mac itself. And then we have Pro Show Producer alongside. Now I just quit that. That's the piece of software that I love to use, by the way. Now, if I exit this mode here, this will actually make it into proper windows where you can you actually get a proper windows. Now, if I press Control Command F, that'll give me full screen mode. It just takes a couple of seconds. And there you go. And you can actually just leave the Mac operating system running there all day long. You press the same keys again and it'll shrink it. But as you can see, it's pretty good at my computer. I've got a 60 gig partition which I made for this and then this is my Mac drives which you can also see so if I go here I'm accessing my Mac drive I click my desktop um, where are we going to go kids Tempsey Park and let's close some of these windows and as you can see it's flying uh, this is AC, ACDC Pro installed in Windows so if I just shift command F Sorry, Control Command F. Right, see how it's gone small again. I'm going to open this same picture because I want to show that this is actually aimed at photographers, this now. I'm going to show you one of the things that I noticed. Once I, once I installed the Mac operating system, it's a thing that I noticed straight away. Now, if you look at the picture... I'll just move that across and just... maximise it a bit bigger. Something like that, right, sweet. Okay, right, if you look at the picture on the left, that's... That's a picture, it's my daughter this by the way, um, it, that's a picture how you'd see it in Windows 7 or Windows Vista or Windows XP. Now if you look at the red jacket, can you see the difference between, so if you've edited this picture on a Mac, which I have, and I put it on the internet, sometimes you might go to your friend's house and he might have a, would be running Windows 7 and this is what you see, a slight colour shift. So you need to remember that, ideally, if you're a Mac user, and you, and you need to account for it. And one thing you can do to account for it is, I don't know if anybody knows it, well, people will know, but I'll just show you. You can actually, when you're editing your pictures, I'll just open Photoshop. So as you can see, Windows 7 still running there. And I've only got 4 gig of memory, so I ain't got a great deal of memory. I'm going to get some more. If you go to View Proof Setup and go to Monitor RGB, can you see now how the jackets change? Command Y on a Mac to turn it on and off. I can actually, so if I'm editing this for the web, I can quickly turn it on and now it's going to look on a Windows PC as well. You know, obviously on a Mac it's going to look like that because that's how it would print. And I like the Mac for doing it, but you need to turn that view print option on so that you can also see what it's going to look like. Because you can see it looks very red. I mean, it looks nice, to be honest, but it looks, the red's a lot different on a on a PC, viewing it through a PC. So, I just thought I'd show you that. Anyway, back onto this. I don't like this mode that it shows you now. I like, I'll show you in a minute, just hang on. Let's let's uh, enter this mode here, this top one. I like this one because it just runs. It just runs up the top here, and it doesn't interfere with anything. And, obviously, now, I... I'm not using it, so I actually would quit because I've I've assigned to it one gig of memory. Let me see if it uh, Windows Start menu. Yeah, as you can see, if I want to uh, 
I can just open a program like that. Or I could drag that into my start menu and run it from my start menu. Where's the options for this now? Hang on. Um, devices. Um, sound, oh, there you go. Let's just. Just configure. This is your config for everything. You can go and assign more memory and stuff like that. I've just assigned 256 video memory. I've just assigned a gig me but you can assign more and assign all your stuff here look you can use one cpu I, d I don't know if you can change it here now some of these settings cannot be changed until the virtual machine is shut down yeah you can change some of these i mean i've just allowed a gig because to be fair i won't be using it that often 90 percent of my work's done on the mac operating system but when i do a wedding or a party and i want to make a slideshow i will definitely be using pro show producer and I will tell you, it runs a lot better than Virtual Machine, and it's absolutely spot on. It really runs smooth. When you've finished with it, all I do, just to get my memory back, because I don't really need it now, if I just go to uh, Windows Start Menu and shut it down, I'll actually shut down in a minute, and then it'll give me my memory back. Still open at a minute. And it's logging off properly. And if you don't like the way I'm using it, like I say, you can you can use the proper mode where it'll just look like Windows 7 and there you go now all I've got to do is quit it and then I've got my 1 gig of memory back then I can use my I don't know if you use this iFreeMem it's a really good piece of software as well it frees your memory up um, and I think that's about it really I'll just let that finish just to show you what that did ah, there you go look it's given me nearly 3 gig back yep so there's a little short preview of Parallel Desktop 7. If you have a Mac or a Hackintosh, download the trial, give it a go, and I think you'll enjoy it. Thank you.